Okay, so in a fit of tired stupidity or possibly early onset dementia, I went to town and feeling that I missed my old broken truck battery, I went to the same place I got it and got two of its brethren. This time to 180 amp hour batteries that have clearly been in the same system which have been run low on water so they are just below the minimum line on all cells and you can see the exposed plates at the top which isn't pretty I even paid a small amount of money for these which I kind of regret doing but there's a big good chance this will make a decent recovery because they look good otherwise taking a look along the sides like the other one, these have the cells oriented this way they aren't deformed whatsoever, not anywhere so I don't think they've been too badly mistreated aside from the water shortage but a water shortage can very well kill off a battery and when I got them home they were stone dead they had about 12.1 volts well 12.15 volts each but uh, I've just hooked up a couple of chargers and uh, they seem to be swallowing current quite well this one's charging at maybe 5 amps or so and the other one's charging at uh, the full six and a half seven that my normal battery charger can do and they're eating it up and uh, the reason I'm charging them before putting more water in them, which I haven't, so for dishwasher clean them off with, is you should never, as most of you probably know, never ever put water in an empty battery because the plates expand when they get charged and uh, you run the risk of uh, overflowing your battery. And I wouldn't want that happening. I don't fancy having acid all over the place, even though I do have concrete floors. So, I'm going to let this charge. If we turn up the current, maybe 15 amps, we'll see what the voltage does. Thirteen point eight, about twenty amps going into it. Uh, yeah, looks okay. Gonna have to follow up on these. Well, they've been charging now for about half an hour at maybe 20 amps in total, running off two chargers. And everything's looking surprisingly good. Uh, the voltage is 14.338, slowly climbing. And uh, feeling around, they aren't getting warm anywhere. They are out guessing, just as you'd expect. None of the cells seem to be boiling away and much faster than any of the others. So, I was kind of pessimistic when I brought this home, but there could be a lot of hope for these guys. I really hope so. Well, the batteries have been charging for about two hours now, at around 20 amps. Had to adjust it a few times. Hey, hold on. Had to adjust it a few times because the transformer in this thing gets pretty hot but we're at 14.65 volts gonna do an a controlled overcharge I added a bit of water so they should be alright but uh, while they've been charging I've been spending some time outside digging around in this pile which has just been a pile of rubble from when they did some 
tore out when we tore out the wall in the basement, and the rubble for, from that wall ended up <laughs> on top of uh, a pile of crap that I was going to take to the dump. Hey, hey there! Not another fish. And uh, I've collected some of the more interesting items which well have been lying around for about two years now underneath a pile of rubble so what would go through it for starters something that used to be a Christmas decoration still shiny on one side a little bit of cola in the old style bottles they don't make these anymore haven't for quite some time a complete Iowa Stereo Synthesizer Tuner model TXZ92 <laughs> I doubt it works anymore Unknown I.O. card with a Molex connector I have no idea about what this is and no idea where it came from I it might have been some Lenovo machine it's got this weird USB like connectors on the back but I've never seen anything like this before some of you probably know what this is a boot an entire boot what used to be a speaker still has a voice coil Cars quite make for brand there. Made in Japan. A World of Warcraft thing. I remember this one. It came with a house. Um Yeah. It has the code thingy on it. If it still works, go ahead and use it. I don't play well. That's a random piece of plastic, these people made stereo. CD, entitled 1975. USB cord. Lampshade. Partial N light. What's that? 250 watt ATX power supply. PFC coil still installed. A pink cap. Used to be pink anyway. Probably used to be red. Oh, and one Panasonic 9 amp hour battery. Don't think I'm going to try and save this one. And a bag of random things from some... I don't know what kind of show I went to quite a few years back we've got a little oh these are Finnish marks to euro converter rulers <laughs> there we have some euro notes and coins this is something from my bank I have no idea about what this is you can put your name in it. Okay. Pens, pens. These things. I've got no idea. Euros. Okay. Oh, these used to be <laughs> little basic rule books about the law in the EU that they gave out for free there in Swedish but they are pretty cute, can you still make out the text there? yeah kinda these are kind of neat should have saved one one pig with my bank's name on it and then it's just more pens and metal clip thingies 
Okay, I think that's the rest of it. SD RAM. Don't think we're gonna make out the capacity of this one. I don't think it applies anymore either. Someone else's deodorant. The faceplate connector from a Sony car stereo. Half a computer stand on wheels, with one wheel included. Alright, gonna drop this now. Oh, and a pile of random crap. This is just garbage, really. So, they've been charging for about three hours now, and they're still drawing a healthy 20 amps. And well, it's getting kind of late in the day, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take, bring these inside now. Can't stay out here all night, can I? I'm gonna try and let them rest for maybe 10 minutes or so, and uh, see what uh, open open circuit voltages we get over them all disconnect the jumper cables and just to get an idea of how much they've absorbed a very very rough idea that one is probably not going to have charged quite as much because there's quite a bit of voltage drop in this very terrible starter cable as you can see it ain't the greatest So, I'm expecting that thing to not be quite as full as that one, and hopefully they're not very full, either of them, because they were stone dead when I got them, and, uh, well, if they were full now, they'd be at about, maybe, 30 amp hours each, and that's not really what I want out of them. <sighs> and there we go, all inside, down the stairs. Whew. I can tell you, everything else I own feels very light after carrying those two around. I think they weigh either 50 or 60 kilos a piece. And well, that's about as much as I do. Whew. That's this from inside. Okay, so the batteries have gotten to rest for about an hour now while I've been assembling a battery charger with banana plugs instead of just a cable coming out in a very tight condition and that was quite the fight but I won in the end. I also added some clear polarity markings so let's see what voltages we got. 12.545 great this one is not full not by long shot 12.606 these batteries still have a long way to go before they're charged. Nice. So I'm just going to put them on each on a 7 amp charger overnight, set to 14.8 volts, and we'll see what happens when we get back to the morning. So I have just slept for about 16 hours, and these batteries have been charging meanwhile. And uh, the current has started to drop. They've probably been charging it about. 4 or 5 amps average during this time. So I should have put about a bit over 100 amp hours in them each in total. So let's check the voltages of them. I have checked the charge current of this one and this was about 3.5 amps. Oh, that went well. 14.5 14.545544 volts. That's pretty good. Fourteen point three oh four. I'd wager that difference is because this charger has uh, much higher output impedance than this one. Most probably due to all of this spaghetti on the output. It has about two meters of wire. Not a very thick wire either. So I'm probably gonna hook the fast charger up again and uh, do a proper controlled overcharge of them now.
Although I am going to... No, I'm actually going to just take him off the charges now and love him live for a little while, maybe an hour, to see uh, what open, open circuit voltage I get in them. And uh, maybe I dare feel the water level up a bit more since I didn't put it more than high enough to cover the play the last time I did it. And it should probably be a bit higher. They should at least be mostly charged by now. Well, there we go, we've got new water in them. I left them rest while I was watering them and they had an ACV of about 4.8, 4 4.9 volts when I was done with them. So they seem to be quite full. And after eating maybe 100 ampere, well, that's well, pretty much what I'd expect. They are from 2007 after all. Anyway, now that they have the correct amount of water, not too much, not too little, I'm just going to leave them to overcharge for a while. I've got a timer set for one hour, and the charge is set for maybe 20, 25 amps, thereabouts. And I've got a very big fan blowing at it to cool the transformer just so that it doesn't get any hotter than it needs to. Although it does make reading the current meter kind of difficult. Oh well. We'll see what happens in the tower. Oh, and just to be safe, very good ventilation. So they've been charging for an hour now, and I just gave everything a big check over, and uh, really aside from the whole room smelling like a uh, hot transformer, uh, nothing's really happening. The batteries aren't getting warm at all, and they seem to be out guessing normally, so I think I'm just going to leave them for another hour. They're eating 25 amps very happily. So another hour has passed, and uh, by now they're starting to get very slightly warm, just a couple of degrees above, uh, above the room temperature, so I think I'm going to take them off the charger. They should have gotten quite a bit of power in them now. And look and rest and see what open open circuit voltage we get and then maybe do some kind of load test on them. Maybe it's nothing. Now this is gonna keep on dropping for quite some time. Might have to add some water into them. I don't know if you can hear that, but they are outgassing quite a bit. Oh well, that's what they're supposed to do. So they've been resting for maybe two hours now off the charger, and I must say the voltages are a bit lower than I would like to see. This could mean one or two things, well, one off two things. Either these batteries are not yet fully charged, or they are in terrible condition. I'm of course hoping for the former, so I'm going to stick them on the small chargers again for another few hours. I've made a couple of modifications to my main charger. And this is how well my camera handles different light colours. Hang on, maybe I can set that manually. Nope, I can't. It's set to auto anyway. And uh, I've added some proper connections to this one. And the output impedance of this charger with the old, very long, thin leads was about 0.3 of an ohm. And uh, even when it's running through this uh, cheap current meter uh, and uh, these, this new connection is less than 0.1 ohm. So that's quite a <laughs> considerable uh, uh, decrease and it's going to perform a lot better. And these two are going to perform pretty much identically. So I'm going to leave these charge. I've set them to 12. 14.6 uh, volts rather than 14.8 now. So, with a bit of luck, they'll be fully charged by tomorrow. Well, it's another sunny midweek morning here in Finland, and I just took these off the charges maybe 10 minutes ago, 
and the open circuit voltages are looking a lot better by now. We've got 13223, which doesn't seem to be dropping very fast at all, and 13204, which is dropping a bit faster. And we can see if I put it into 500 count, 500 frames in count mode. No, that's pretty stable. Looking good. So these have been charging for, well, pretty much 36 hours or so straight. And uh, they started out at about 3 amps yesterday. I had these two meters hooked up in series for three chargers, and uh, they were down to about 1.6 amps right when I took them off. And they've been outgassing happily. They sounded like boiling pots when I got down here. But I'm hoping they've had some time to actually absorb the charge now. The lower current when I got her got me very excited. So I'm going to go run some errands in town and once once we get back we're going to have to find out what the voltage is. I'm going to be very, very excited if it's over 12.7 or 8. So I'm back from town. It's been about four hours while I've been gone. During which I got my hands on this thing among others. So let's see what open circuit voltage we have. Come on, be something good. 12.9. That's pretty nice. This one's 12.86. Now that's... Those are OCVs I can be happy with. A lot better than the 12.77 or so the last time I charged them. So now that I'm going to let them rest for just another while. Check back on them later tonight, and with a bit of luck it won't have dropped too much more. Okay, so, while I've been doing other stuff, I've been low testing this battery at about 8.5 amps, and it's been going for about 6.5 hours now. So, and it's far from discharged yet, so... This battery alone has more capacity than both of my old UPS batteries put together, which is pretty nice, although it does seem to have a fairly high internal resistance because right from the get-go it dropped down to about 12.12 volts when I put my load on it, which is about 8.5 amps when the battery is full. So that's a bit of a concern and also the self-discharge rate of these batteries seems to be quite high to say the least. If I probe the other one which has just been sitting for about a day and a half, it's at 12.55. Which since it's just a lead antimony battery isn't too bad but yeah it, it's really, it should be higher for a healthy battery and I'm quite concerned about that but uh, with a bit of luck since this one seems to have so much capacity well some capacity but there's some hope left maybe a couple of cycles will do them good and get them back to health but eh, I'm skeptical this could have been a bad and deal. And I just came to check on this thing while actually going coming in this room to do another thing. And I noticed that we are pretty much empty now. And uh, I'm going to unhook the load because that's pretty unnecessary at this stage. But we're stone dead. And uh, it's been running for roughly nine hours. And a rough estimation, I'd say the current average would be about 8.2 amps, which gives us about 77 amp hours or thereabout. Let's say 80 for the sake of fairness, because it, I'd say that's a bit more realistic. 
So that's quite a way short of 180, which was better is supposed to be at. So eh, I'm gonna have to try the other one tomorrow. We'll see about that. Oh well. Who knows? With a bit of luck, a couple of cycles will bring it back to well, at least over a hundred. But I'm still skeptical. So I just came to put the other battery on a load test, and it's been sitting for maybe three days. And this is the open circuit voltage. Not looking good. Gonna do the load test anyway. And we'll see well, what capacity it has. I do not like the look of that. Oh well. And there we go. Nine hours for this one as well. For a pretty full discharge. So, better take this one off the load. See what the voltage is going to do. Maybe if I check the open voltage of this one, which has been lying off the charger for a few hours, maybe 9 or 10, fair about. So let's see. Could be worse. Now here's an experiment. Can you use two cheapo power supplies Wired in series to charge your truck, truck battery. They're pl probably gonna blow up, but I don't quite care. But they don't have very thick wires, so there could be enough voltage drop going on for it to actually work. That's a positive. That's a negative. I don't think that's going to work. So these two chargers are charging at about 7 amps a piece and they're drawing 226 watts from the grid and I just did some math for fun and these two chargers while charging this battery are 77% efficient and that just amazes me because these things are almost 30 years old I was expect expecting them to be closer to 60% than 80. Wow! And I just took that one off the charger. I'm gonna have to see how low the voltage drops on it. This really doesn't look good. The self discharge rate on these batteries seems to be incredibly high. This was 12.7 or so the last time I checked it, which was maybe 20 hours ago. And we saw this one drop down to 12.5 something. No, that was that one. Uh, oh dear. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these batteries. They seem to hold about 70 or 80 amp hours. Which is... Well... It's okay for the money I paid for them. It's not okay for the size. They're supposed to hold more than twice as much. But... I have ordered some very cheap... C grade solar panels that uh, might just be able to make use of these batteries in the near future. So we'll see about that. But for any kind of standby application, 
I don't know, these batteries are going to need a lot of float charge to keep them charged up at this dis self discharge rate. Yeah. Not too happy. Not too happy at all. Maybe I'll work with the solar cells. We'll see. At least they're big. That's what matters, right? Gotta have some big batteries in your house, else you're not a man. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Well, for what it's worth, at least they seem to float alright.